everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Bienvenidos a mi cocina. Hola, te recomiendo una receta. Muchos lo saben. Se llama ensalada de bacalao. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a dish um, from Latin America called um, bacalao salad or ensalada de bacalao. So let's get started. Vamos a empezar. For the ingredients, I'm using a piece of codfish that I had left over. Um, it was too small to make a stew, so I'm using it for a, a salad. I'm using one potato. I'm using some red onion, green and red pepper, one tomato, half of an avocado, one um, hard-boiled egg, lime, um, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper, and the parsley just for decorating. Now the, the codfish you want to soak overnight and change the water three times. Aquí tengo un pedazo de bacalao sobrante. Tiene que desalar el bacalao en agua por un día y cambiar el agua tres veces. Ensalada de bacalao is um, a um, traditional Latin American, um, Spanish and Caribbean um, salad. And um, it's really easy to make, but you can change up the ingredients if you want. While my egg is boiling, I'm chopping up my potato. And um, for the ingredients, you can chop it up any size that you want. Um, if you want to leave the potatoes in circles, you can leave them in circles. Or you can dice them up like I'm dicing them up. Para las verduras, uh, se puede cortar cualquier tamaño que desea. Para la papa, estoy cortando en cubos, pero um, puede cortarla en círculos. So I'm just going to salt my water so that my potatoes can have a little flavor. And next I'm going to go over to my um, bacalao that I have in the water boiling. And I'm going to boil the bacalao for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to remove it. Estoy agregando un poco de sal al agua um, para que la papa puede um, tener sabor. Y voy a hervir el bacalao por unos 15 o 20 minutos hasta que se, sea suave. While everything is um, cooking, I'm going to come over here and chop up my tomato. Now for the tomato, you can slice it if you want to, or you can dice them up. And I prefer to have my pieces all diced up. Bueno, mientras todo está cocinando, voy a empezar a cortar mi tomate en cubos. Uh, puede cortar tu um, tomate en rabanadas si lo prefieres. So I'm going to um, come over to the stove next and I'm, I'm um, preheating my um, pan because I'm going to lightly saute my um, peppers. And um, you don't have to do this, it's just that I like to do it because um, it kind of softens the peppers because uh, peppers can be um, a little hard, but it will still have a little crunch to it. So this will only take about five minutes. Voy a la estufa um, porque um, tengo mi sartén pretty calentando porque um, voy a saltar ligeramente mis pimientos. Saltaré los pimientos solo por cinco minutos, nada más. Eso es optional, um, que no tiene que hacer esto, pero um, quiero mis pimientos un poco suave. So now I'm just gonna add a little apple cider vinegar to my onions. And the reason why I'm using apple cider vinegar as opposed to regular white vinegar is because apple cider vinegar is much sweeter. And also, um, vinegar gives your red onion a vibrant red color, so it makes it more prettier. Le puse un poco de um, vinagre a mi um, cebolla roja porque le da un sabor dulce y un color más brillante. My peppers are ready, so now I'm going to check my codfish. And it still feels like it needs a little more time to cook, so I'm going to let that cook a little more. I'm going to take my egg off the stove and I'm going to head back over to my counter. Así que han pasado cinco minutos y mi bacalao aún no está listo. Voy a dejar que cocine cinco minutos más. So this is how you want your um, codfish. You want it to be really soft so that when you pick it up, it starts to break into pieces. Mi bacalao está listo, así que ahora voy a desmenizarlo y... Um, es bastante um, suave para uh, usar tus manos, así que no necesita un tenedor para este paso, ¿ok? So I'm just laying parsley around the edges. If you have lettuce, you can use lettuce. Or spinach is also good. Once I lay my uh, parsley in a circle, then I'm going to start adding my um, vegetables to the center. 
Ahora um, estoy poniendo mi perejil en los bordes. Puede usar lechuga o espinaca si tiene. And for this salad, you can assemble the vegetables any way you want. So it's a salad. You know, if you want to mix everything together, I just like to layer um, my ingredients. So I'm just layering uh, each one on top of each other. And, you know, like I said, it's your salad. Make it the way you want to make it. Voy a assemblar todos los ingredientes y puede mezclar los ingredientes juntos si quiere. Me gusta ponerlos de esta manera. And this is a really refreshing um, salad for spring and for the summer. It's very light and it's not weighed down with a lot of mayonnaise dressings. So this is a really um, great alternative if you're looking for something healthy to eat. Esta ensalada es bonita y deliciosa para la primavera y el verano. Es una ensalada ligera porque no lleva mayonesa y es saludable y llena de vitaminas. This um, salad goes great with anything. If you're making chicken and you just want a side salad, with this salad, you can add any vegetable that you want with it. Um, these are the main vegetables that you're going to find in a bacalao salad. But if you want to add um, carrots to it, if you want to add cauliflower to it, if you want to add um, cabbage to it, you can. Whatever you want to do, make the salad your own salad. But it's a really nice um, alternative to just plain uh, cucumbers and tomatoes. Puede comer tu ensalada con pollo, cerdo, um, carne, cualquiera. Puede añadir zanahoria, coliflor, repollo. Um, es una um, buena alternativa a um, una ensalada simple con tomates y los pepinos. So now I'm just going to try a little bit of it just to see where my flavors are. And if I need to add a little bit of, of something, I'm just going to add it to it. And whenever I make the salad, I usually change it up to just the way I feel. And today I just felt like layering it. Sometimes I just mix all the vegetables together. So it just depends. Voy a probar un poco de ella. Cada vez que hago la ensalada, hago una manera diferente. But when you make this salad, make sure you rinse the salt out of the uh, bacalao. You want to make sure it's not so salty because then the salad is going to be overpowered by the salt. And it's not going to really taste so great. Es muy importante para quitar la sal de bacalao porque sabrá es demasiado salado. Bueno, mi gente, es hora para ayudarme. Gracias por verme. Si te gusta este video, dale un like. Deja un comentario abajo. Uh, Suscríbete a mi canal y um, haz clic la campana para no perderte mis videos. Hasta la próxima. Muchas bendiciones. Bye, bye. Well, my friends, it's time for me to go, but I want to thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, leave a comment below, and if you haven't subscribed and you want more videos like this, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.